Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome and if you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. In today's video, I'm gonna do another set of nails for myself and I thought because it's summer and um, I used to go fishing a lot in the summer uh, when I was little, I thought I'm gonna do something inspired by that. And so I created a little froggy and I also put a lot of like, you know, plants around him and stuff like that and then I created kind of like a, a marble that I hope is going to resemble like water and like waves and stuff like that but um, I don't know if it actually did but you know and then I gave him something to eat as well so there are flies around flying obviously uh, so yeah I I just love this set so much and I hope you are going to love it too. Um, if you do, please give this video a thumbs up, you know, subscribe, stuff like that. Anything you do to interact with my video helps my channel and yeah, you know, I, I would really like to, to grow my channel. <laughs> anyway, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, you know, with all of that said, let's do some nails. I have all my tips ready to go and I'm going to start with the middle fingernail and I'm going to use Deca from the Kirsty Making Gel Polish Collection and I'll apply two layers of this and cure each for 30 seconds which mean that means they're going to be fully cured. Um, also I'm going to apply two layers on the ring finger and one layer on the thumb pointer and pinky. Uh, then I'm gonna use Hot Tips Beauty uh, gel paint in Jasmine and the Cat 2 brush from Ink London. And I'm just gonna use this brush and I'm gonna kind of uh, pick up the tiniest little bit of that uh, white gel paint and I will create some clouds. And the way to, uh, that I did this is just to kind of apply them wherever I'm, I'm taking advantage of the like roundness of the brush. Uh, to kind of create some like uh, fluffy clouds and then I am going to apply more uh, paint where I think they that you know the the clouds should be whiter and I'm just patting down the rest so I'm kind of going back and forth picking up more uh, paint as I go if I need to uh, this does not have to be perfect doesn't have to like respect any kind of uh, design in any way because we know that clouds are very unpredictable uh, so <laughs> yeah I'm just applying it wherever I feel like it and hope for the best basically and also again I'm taking advantage of that like roundness of the brush to kind of create that uh, fluffiness then I'm gonna use coffee bean lollipop country green and something else no that's it okay never mind that's it um i am going to uh, mix a really really light brown and uh, you can see that i mixed a bit of that dark brown with white and just the tiniest bit of yellow just because i thought it wasn't the right shade so i wanted it to be a bit more warm and i'm gonna use this glitter bells gel brush um and also the detailer brush so this is the middle liner detailer from glitter bells and i'm going to create um, some like plants and uh, basically all kinds of like greenery that you'd find around the lake and i thought this is going to be such a great uh, i don't know landscape kind of design I absolutely love this so the first thing I do is I pick up most of that gel paint uh, with my uh, big brush because it's easier to uh, bring a lot more paint onto the nail with that and then I'm going in with the the liner and I'm just kind of detailing everything I'm making sure that everything is very very round and that everything looks as perfect as I want it to so I'm yeah I'm just fixing the shape with my detailer and this was so easy to do uh, just because I added that bulk of the product first so yeah anyway also make sure you're not gonna apply this gel paint too thick uh, because then it might 
might wrinkle a little bit so make sure you apply it quite thin if you need to you do two coats i didn't find it necessary but just keep that in mind and then as i said i'm adding some greenery so i'm going in with that country green as it is so just from the pot and i added as you saw a line at the bottom and then i'm going up with some like longer kind of leaves and stuff this doesn't have to be perfect either they I, I just added a lot and it just i wanted it to look busy basically i wanted like that sky to be the the most important part so everything else is going to be kind of blurry and also i'm adding here some brown into that green and i'm kind of like darkening it a little bit more um and this is going to help with the, the layering, so I, I keep on adding things um, just to make it more and more busy. I am creating more strokes with my brush, I'm not trying to make it even at all, because if, um, if you leave those strokes in, it's just going to make it look like it's actually very, very layered. Then I'm taking some of that green and I'm mixing it with a bit of white, so I'm creating a very light green and I am going to add some highlights. So with my detailer brush I'm just going over some of those uh, bigger leaves and I'm just kind of adding a line to them and that's it. It's it's so simple but again if you do some from like the bottom of the nail and some from like the middle of the design up then it's going to create that perspective to to show that some things are a bit more in the background and some things are in the front and you can see how easy everything was um, then i'm gonna use some cast iron and i'm gonna give uh, our frog that i'm gonna make in a minute i'm gonna give her something to eat so <laughs> i created some uh, flies around and basically as you saw it's just kind of like an oval with two circles uh coming out of it so it's so simple to create a fly it's incredible so yeah i'm just doing that and then I'm gonna take some of that yellow and I'm just using the tiniest bit on my detailer brush as you can see here I wiped some of that off my glove and I'm going like back in if I need more and I'm just creating a bit of texture but <clears throat> otherwise you see how simple this was it's such a, an easy beginner friendly design and I absolutely love it I think it's uh, it came out really nice then I'm gonna go in with the velvet matte top coat from Ink London and I'm gonna apply a layer of that and cure that for 60 seconds um, I'm also want to mention I'm using the platinum X lamp from Ink London to cure everything so yeah it's it's enough one minute and then this is how it looks i i, I love it <laughs> then i'm going in on the ring finger where with the artisan gel paint in green just because this was the perfect shade of green that i wanted so i just went with this one i didn't i i could have mixed it but i had this perfect shade waiting for me already mixed in a bottle so why wouldn't i just do this <laughs> Then to create the frog, you basically need an oval and then you saw that I, I added like the body of the frog there and then I'm just adding like the back legs there. So um, kind of like a very rounded, rounded, oh God, rounded, I can't talk, a very rounded triangle. There you go. So uh, I just added that and now I'm going to go in with a dotting tool and I'm going to add the places for the eyes so these are not like the eyes is just how they kind of poke out of the frog's head <laughs> that sounded really bad but anyway i am adding that and then i'm gonna go in with the bigger brush and i'm gonna like fill in all those blank spaces with the green and this is how you draw a frog it's so easy it it just looks a lot more complicated but it's not uh, so don't you know worry about it I'm sure you can do it fine please try it because if you don't try it you're never gonna learn uh, so yeah don't don't worry about it then I'm just going to like make the the color even everywhere so I'm going around um, here I'm just kind of 
getting that yellow and creating a belly for our frog you can do you can create like a dotted uh, outline or you can just do uh, a normal outline you can do it however you want uh, frogs do have a lot of like texture on the skin or like spots on the skin so it's you you can make it as complicated as you want then with black i am going in and i'm gonna line the whole frog so i created the front paws i know front arms i don't know what they are i'm guessing paws uh <laughs> and then with the back ones i just kind of uh outlined them and then i put a line in the middle because they are bent so the frog is like sitting and uh, then yeah i'm just gonna outline the eye uh, this is not necessary, like the bottom line is not necessary, but you can still do it. I, I just wanted to map out exactly where the eyes are, so I wanted to make sure that uh, I get them, you know, down a little bit. I don't uh, make the eyes just to like sit on top of the head, I wanted them to be part of the head, so yeah, I outlined that and then just outlined the, the outside of the head and also i'm creating a very very big smile for our frog because he is happy he has like food around there's loads of flies around and yeah he's he's living his best life <laughs> and also i give him like two holes for the nose um then i'm going to take the smaller dotting tool and this is just because i wanted a bit more control uh and i'm gonna add two big dots in black and that's because I absolutely love those frogs. I don't know how they're called. I'm sure they have a name. Uh, but I love those frogs that are green with their really, really big blue black eyes. They're just so adorable. So uh, I kind of wanted to create that. And you can see that one eye is a bit bigger than the other. But uh, I think that just gives him character. So uh, I'm not going to stress about it too much. So yeah, I created the eyes with the dotting tool, as you can see, then I'm gonna add some like shinies into his eyes. Um, so I round, I, I did like a half moon on the top and then a dot on the side and a dot on the bottom. And you can see that those eyes already kind of look 3D and they look like they're shining. And also I wanted to give him freckles. I don't know why, but I, I thought that's adorable. So I gave him freckles on his like cheeks and also on his knees because again, I thought that's gonna be adorable and I think it is. So um, yeah, he has freckles now. <laughs> Then for his background, I am just, because I didn't want him to just float there without anything around, I wanted him to look like he is part of that whole ecosystem that we did on the middle finger. Uh, and I'm just putting some brown around him just to kind of map out where I want everything to be. And then I'm gonna go in with green and I'm gonna like pull out some leaves and stuff. Uh, and again create a bit of texture in there because I didn't want it to look too perfect so I'm adding some of that uh, green around and I'm mixing it with my brush this not, does not have to be perfect at all uh, you can do whatever you want but just remember that um, he is going to have some like leaves and stuff behind him as well you can add as much as you want i didn't want to for him to get lost in them so i kept it like you know on on the sides because i wanted you to be able to still see him very very well i didn't want him to blend in too much so uh, yeah I, I kept it to a minimal but you can add as much as you want um and also then i was looking at this nail and i didn't realize what was missing and it was the clouds because i thought this is just like so empty <laughs> so i went in and i added some clouds make sure you don't put them over the greens that you already like painted uh try to keep it you know behind them so if you do get anything on uh, anything that you painted make sure you like clean it up a little bit uh, before you actually put it in the lamp and then i added a fly with him here just to kind of you know give him the convenience to eat whenever he wants because <laughs> it's close to him 
and yeah i think that's absolutely adorable he has that fly flying around oh it's so cute i love it i i really really love the set and um yeah i'm just adding some of that texture with the yellow and then i'm gonna add some highlights with that light green and again i'm not going straight from the bottom on all of them i'm putting some uh, highlights only on like the top bits just to make it look like it's a bit more uh in the distance so yeah anyway then i'm applying a layer of matte top coat and then this nail will be done I'm giving this again a 60 second cure and he is absolutely adorable. I love him so much. Then moving on to the pointer fingernail, I'm going in with fluid rubber from Ink London and also I'm going to use Andy Whiteout Mick and Adam from the Kirsty Mick Angel Polish Collection. And I'm gonna also use the yellow ombre brush from Ink London. I am going to create a marble because I had this thing in mind. All of the rest of the nails are gonna be marble. Um, I had this thing in mind where I wanted to make it look like it's actually the lake water that has like waves in it. So I'm I'm again you know creating water but in a different way. I know I kind of overdid it this uh, summer with all the summer designs with water but you know anyway the the most uh important color here is that blue because it's going to like reflect the sun kind of but i also wanted some really really dark colors because the lakes lakes usually uh do have darker uh colored water than the sea or the ocean so i am going to apply a layer of that uh, base coat a very very thin layer so I'm going back in and I'm kind of dragging some of that product off and I'm not curing and then I'm just kind of creating this um, wavy pattern with the the marble so I'm picking up the colors and I'm kind of applying them here and there and you can see what I mean when I say it's like um, the lake water and it's like the reflection kind of uh, you know it's it's moving I don't know I, I love how it came out and that's the most important thing. Then I'm going in with the Ultimate No Wipe Top Coat on this uh, from Ink London just because I wanted this to be shiny. Uh, make sure you keep it upside down so you, uh, if you have any texture after you apply the top coat, if you have any texture from the marble, it's going to like smooth out if you apply the top coat upside and then keep the nail upside down. Then I'm going in on to the thumb and as I said, I am applying this kind of uh, wavy pattern and you can see here it's actually, uh, it came out a little bit more like in my head. So it's, it's very wavy and it looks like someone kind of put their hand in the water and it, it moved it and create little, created little waves. And yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but I can, and I'm in love with this nail in particular. This is my favorite nail out of the whole set. I love the frog, but this, oh, I love it. That marble is just gorgeous. I can't stop looking at it. Then I'm going in onto the pinky and I'm doing exactly the same thing. I applied already my base coat, by the way, on the thumb and the uh, pinky finger. I just didn't show it anymore because I didn't think it was necessary. And I, once I'm happy with it, I'm gonna apply a layer of top coat and then this nail is going to be done as well. This is done now and honestly, he's so adorable. I love him. Like those big black eyes and just, oh, it's just so cute. And yeah, I absolutely love how the marble came out. I really think it kind of resembles a little bit water. Um, that's just my point of view, but you know, it, it doesn't have to be the same as yours. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.